Gamers, my name is KK and today we are completing the Elite Blunarius. Uh, this is a very special case because this time we have the advanced map that we have never had before, the Spillway. Uh, it's considered pretty... well, it's mid-range map in advanced, but it's very, very difficult for boss balloon. So today is gonna be not the easiest one, but we will handle it just fine. What I wanna mention is that you need to strictly focus your attention on early game. If you nail the early game, the mid and late game will be easy. This is such a weird week because tier 3, tier 4 and tier 5 are not so difficult, but tier 1 and tier 2 you need to have very strong focus. So let's begin. We begin with Free Dark Monkey into Benjamin into the 000 Ninja on the barrel. Next step you're gonna go into the farm and farm gonna go into 200 we keep upgrading more and more farms that's our main focus remember the earlier you place the farm or make the upgrade for the farm so even one banana will cost you tens of thousands of dollars by the end of this game so make sure you collect all of them next step you get 100 ninja after you get 200 and 000 farm so just a simple uh, next step after that you want to make sure that you use the level 3 ability of Ben whenever you see fit uh, or just uh, Ideally copy my uh, abilities and you will be just fine uh, because The rule of thumb you want to do it when there are a lot of clumps balloons, but uh, you see it for yourself It's not so hard next step uh, you get more and more farms uh, also, I highly recommend you to repeat all the spots that I'm using in this walkthrough because I use these spots with the thought in mind beforehand. I usually plan ahead to use it uh, with some use in the future. Next, uh, you, as you could have seen, I'm upgrading 201 Ninja on round 21 or so. After that, we get more and more farms. Round 25, it is important to get sniper, so get 000 sniper on strong, uh, because otherwise you're gonna die. Next thing, you get more and more 200s. For the round 27, I want you to get the wizard, so you're not gonna do this without it. Get the wizard in the bottom, repeat the same spot that I'm using, remember to be precise, and this wizard is gonna be 1, 2, 0. Remember, 1, 2, 0, not 0, 2, 2, not 0, to 1, 1, 2, 0, because this upgrade path allows Wizzy Boys to shoot through the walls, and that is exactly what we need. Even though it has slightly less DPS than the uh, regular Fire Wizard that we are using, it's still doing the job just fine, and with the Ninja they are cleaning up no problem. After you get 10 200s, you are getting the tier, tier 3 bottom path farms. So upgrade 203s whenever you have the money for it. And stop at 5 of them. So upgrade the same ones that I'm upgrading and get only 5. It is important. Now the hard part of this walkthrough begins because you will need to micromanage a lot of stuff. Okay. Round 37. First, as you can see to the left side, I'm placing more farms. After you get five marketplaces, no need to buy more. Uh, get five in the same uh, place that I did and get some more 200s to the left. Uh, I think five would be decent. All right, keep placing them up until round 39. Uh, it's just fine because 200s make you more cash and you will sell the ones to the right anyways. Next step, you get uh, the, a few boats in the top. As you can see, uh, you must remove the wall and you need to get four 003s. Do not be hasty to sell your farms. You, the goal is to kill around 42 camel balloons with just the boat in the top. Uh, so the sooner you upgrade them to 003, the more money you will have. So uh, on round 42, you get one of them, uh, the grape shots, and the, the rest are just 003. After that, after we get four, you upgrade the boat to the right into the 004. Very important. Next, you wait a bit. I would say 
five seconds. You sell the farms, but first place one tech shooter in the center and two submarines near it. Sell all of your uh, marketplaces and upgrade both of your submarines to the first strikes. Yes, you heard me right. Next step, you try not to sell anything else. At the worst case scenario, you can sell one more farm. Uh, next, you get Blade ma Maelstrom. With it, when you have two, remember, two first strikes of cooldown, you smash them, you use the Ben's ability to gather with the Maelstrom. Only that way Maelstrom will be powerful enough to clean up that many ceramics. Do, if you use it just Maelstrom, not enough. So first Ben's level 3, then Maelstrom. Very important. Next step, you will buy the tier 5 Maelstrom. I calculated everything perfectly. So. You keep adding boats while you have the uh, first strikes on cooldown, but hear me out. You will use two first strike abilities, sell the first strikes right after it happens, and buy the tier 5 tech shooter, so upgrade it, while you can do it either when you activated the ability, because it will just upgrade the ability together with it, or you can just use the abilities and upgrade it afterwards. And as you can see, easy. Uh, with this, you are chilling. Next step, you buy the bomb tower 040 and activate its ability to finish off the tier 1. Uh, this works every time, I tested this strategy many times, it is reliable and it works just like I show you. Do not miss the timings and you will be just fine. Next, uh, the I sold my defenses, so sold two first strikes and my tech shooter, and I upgraded one BRF. One BRF is just because we are not able to spend the money on the boats quick enough, so I opted for just getting one BRF and then we keep buying 003 boats. Also. Try your best to repeat my spots because it is important. If you fit less than 12 boats, it's not good. Uh, 12 or more. I fit 15, 14. The ideal, I think, is 15 or so. Also, do not remove the walls. Only remove the top wall uh, where I have five boats right now. Do not touch any other boat. After you finish the tier 1 Blunarius, you sell your cannon and you keep upgrading more and more boats. Do not upgrade the rest, just the boats. For the round 49, upgrade five of your boats in the top into to zero. One, three. So upgrade Grape Shot on them. And use level 3 ability of Ben on round 49. It will increase the popping power of the Wall of Fire while the ceramics are on the map. It is just what we need because it's pretty dangerous round. I don't want to buy any extra defenses to deal with it. Ideally, just deal with it by using submarines. Certain, certain. The, the submarine, the boats. And on round 49, we already have the pretty much maxed out setup with the boats, uh, except we don't have the tier 5 boat. So, on round 49, I also placed the Dirt Monkey in center. This Dirt Monkey is gonna be 302, and after you upgrade 005 boat to the left, also, the location of this boat is also important, because we will be buffing it with the future Monkey Opus. And roughly on round 54, you get one more farm. This time it's 0 to 4. And you upgrade the Juggernaut. Juggernaut will help us with the ceramics cleanup because bo with money boats are weak against ceramics. And the Juggernaut is just what we need. The cross path for Juggernaut is 4 0 2, remember. But we will sell rebuy this Juggernaut later. So be with me. It's not ended yet. So. Uh, we keep buying 0 to 4 farms, as many of them as we can, and we will sell 4 of them on round 60, but do not sell it immediately. Uh, so, you will see. First thing, uh, we will need to... This is my failed attempt, so while it's happening I will explain and I will show you why you cannot use any other spots. So, this time I have 502 Juggernaut and I have the mat in the wrong spot. As you can see, Matt is doing fine, but this Ultra Juggernaut is barely enough and we almost lost. This is not very good, so what will happen is we are dying here. But there is a solution. Uh, look, we sell rebuy our Juggernaut. 
we sell for farms it's clear as a day but the spot for mat is different the spot is right behind the subs and you pretty much want to lock it next step you buy the dart monkey five to zero after that you sell so in order to do this you sell four farms and you buy the overclock yes you heard me right with the overclock you wanna first overclock your mad second overclock your uh, you you jug so ultra juggernaut and third overclock you jug again you win repeat this in the exact order what I should have done here is I should have just gotten the overclock immediately but for some reason I thought that uh, I should get the farm which is a mistake oh, it's it was painful but get the overclock immediately and you will not suffer one bit uh, also use Matt's ability and when the Blunarius enters the center circle you just lock in place uh, your dartling and it will deal the damage to it just fine so, as you can see, I'm getting my overclock. I will overclock the mat first. Yes, just as I told you. Next, I will use the ability while overclocked, so it's also doubled. And uh, the U Jug is cleaning up all the ceramics. Next step is. It might seem a bit close, but it's fine. Uh, and you are uh, overclocking your dart, U Jug, and into the ability of the mat and with this you are cleaning up everything just fine yes almost <laughs> because here you have a few options ideally you just wanna so as you could have seen my overclock duration just faded so i sold re sold my engineer and i rebought it again and overclocked my ujack again so if your duration also fades you can do use this trick if not just it will kill it just fine after this while this was was all happening i was buying zero to four farms all over the place you wanna get 10 zero to four farms after you get them, uh, you do not touch the boats. With the boats, you want to have just uh, one trade empire and one tier 4 because we had it uh, from the tier 1 and the rest is tier 3 boats. Because tier 3 boats buff each other and tier 4 is not worth it unless you have a lot of cash already. Next step, you overclock your BRFs and you get 5 BRFs. Do not upgrade the village before you upgrade the BRFs and it's time to upgrade the village. You will have 5 farm opolis. Not big one, but uh, that's the easiest one, the easiest location I found for you. After you get it, you upgrade the banana central. Do not upgrade any other BRFs, just one banana central. And you keep overclocking your banana central strictly, just the banana central. After that, I placed farmer. It is up to you whether you want to spend your powers, but I enjoy sp spending farmers because I hate collecting the bananas manually. Next step, you after you bought the banana central, you buy five, sorry, not the five. Yeah, oh yeah, five BRFs. If you place the farmer in the same range that I have, it will have all the BRFs in, in its range. Next step, you fill all the map with 0 to 4 farms. You can, ideally 4 to 0, but I don't want to waste farmers or collect this stuff manually. For round 78, you buy two shimmers. Uh, shimmers will decamo a second ceramic wave on round 78. For the tier 3, you just buy Dark Paragon in the center. <laughs> uh, yes, it's as, as simple as that. While this all is all happening, you want to buy the hyper boost it is tier 5 engineer uh, like the better overclock and you want to hyper boost your banana central because you already have the money for it do not sell your dark paragon from the center like we usually do just because this is more than enough this my dark paragon was degree 23 and it's ridiculously broken on this map dark paragon is probably one of the very best maps for dark paragon because it will deal the most damage in 
uh, out of all the paragons that we are gonna use today. And now, what I'm doing is I am placing the druids of the jungle in the spare spots wherever I can when we have at least three farms in range. That's the rule of thumb. If you have the spot where your druids will have three farms in range, go for it, place them, and it will work just fine because you will make much more money. Even though in this run we I over farmed, but I, I don't think there is such thing as over farming in boss because you can always spend the money if you want to. I just wanted to show that we, we're kind of chilling. So as you can see, I hyper boost my banana central and I overclock my, how is it called? Bottom path cure five farm market or something whatever whatever next step you keep overclocking your farms i bought the debuffing for the tier 4 but it was absolutely unnecessary because dart paragon shreds through tier 4 no problem for the tier 5 you have two options what i recommend is just buy four paragons four paragons will kill it quick i myself wanted to test will it kill the tier 5 was just dark paragon the answer is no but yes and no so this particular run no it will not happen because we already removed one wall and the walls play a big part in the strength of the dark paragon if we had four walls this paragon might have had a chance but the i'm pretty sure that degree 40 dark paragon will solo the Blunarius and degree 60 will solo for sure. Now, you keep using the Druid abilities, you keep collecting the monies, overclocking your farms, and as for the towers, you want to get four Paragons, you don't want to remove any walls except one we removed in the beginning because walls make the Dark Paragon much stronger. You buy 502 Sniper, you buy 250 Glue, and you buy 520 Ice. That's it. That's really it. Uh, I didn't sell my farms this time because I wanted to farm a lot and greed a lot, but it's absolutely not necessary. You are just using the ability of glue. I also placed the Holman just to make the sniper shoot faster and all the other towers except paragons. And we are slowly buying all the paragons. You will be just fine. Ideally, you wanna buy them as soon as you see the tier five, but uh, since I told you I was doing the experiment, uh, it's, it's just fine. Even if you buy them halfway through, uh, it will kill the Blunarius, no problem. Just use the glue and make sure you place the debuff. We had enough money to place, I think, five more temples one VTSG and fill all the map with the carpets of spikes if you really needed to. But as you can see, uh, it's pretty simple in the late game. All right, smash like or dislike, depending on what you think about this video. Tell me in the comments if this was easy or not. If you have any questions, me or my subs will answer you in the comments and see you in the next one.